Hi. So I want to talk about turning thoughts to things. I had this pretty woo-woo experience where we created a desire and then we energized it by blessing it, sending love to it. And then we sent it off. And then our teacher told us to put out our left hand and think of that desire. And I felt like a bowling ball hit my hand. And it kind of freaked me out just a little. So start at the beginning of this. Okay. At this efforting. So, yeah, that's actually what I wanted to ask. It, I felt like, so we were thinking of a desire. So I've decided that I'm going to be a <laughs> deliberate creator. <laughs> and I am going to define a desire, a really good one. It'll take me a minute, and then I'm going to flow energy toward him. <laughs> it actually was kind of fun. I felt like a wizard in a way. We are being playful about it, but there is a little too much work Effort, involved here. Yeah. Because remember, and we will let you talk, <laughs> but remember, the way it all works is step one is born effortlessly out of contrast. You know what you don't want, you know what you do want. And... Once you launch that rocket, your inner being tends it. Law of attraction grows it. Momentum gathers it. The cooperative components are gathered. And so there's not a lot of efforting in that. So what you might have meant to say is, I've decided to select from among what I know is in my vortex, what's already gathered. I'm going to identify some desire that I hold for the purpose of making sure that I'm tuned to it. Because I want to witness what the deliberate tuning of something that's already been done in step one. I'm going to do the receiving mode thing about something that I already know is in the vortex. And I'm going to witness its evolution. Those are the words we would use. I like those words. Yes. Those feel real good. Um, and so turning thoughts to things as you described it sounds... Or let's say it better. Witnessing thoughts turning to things. There you go. Because turning thoughts to things sounds like I'm the motor in the car. I'm going to witness thoughts turning to things. Thoughts turn to things. And if I'm focused upon the thoughts as they turn to things, then I get to enjoy the turning process. Feeling the difference in these? Yeah, that's the satisfaction of this, getting ready to be ready. Uh, the bowling ball is getting lighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, well, what was interesting is that the bowling ball felt like it took on, I guess it's just, vibra so I think about vibration, I think about fast moving energy. And so... When you we think ha about what? When I think of vibration, I think about energy moving at different frequencies. And so when we're, when I'm thinking of a desire and it feels good, there's this um, feeling that it's fast moving energy. And so when I felt the bowling ball, that kind of surprised me, the, the weight of it. Was it just my imagination or what do you, that's what I want to know. Because there was this explanation that when we're turning thoughts to thought forms, is actually what he described it as, is that where it's like taking steam and turning it into ice. So that, I was very curious about that. Is it what this sounds like to us is human beings who've decided to take on the role of non-physical and then complain about their inability to do something that they're not supposed to be doing. That's perfect. Yeah, I got you. That helped clear that up. Thank you so much. Now, that doesn't mean it's not a good idea to focus. Of course, you want to focus and you want to find the lightness and the good feeling in the thoughts that you're thinking. Of course, you are the catalyst that is allowing yourself to be receiving. But it's time to really emphasize that thoughts are going to turn to things with or without you because it's the way life works. And that what this work is about is about accomplishing a vibrational frequency that since law of attraction is the order of the day mm -hmm. that as I accomplish a frequency I allow the kinds of things to be witnessed and experienced by me that I prefer because you get what you think about whether you want it or not thoughts are turning to things all around you all the time but this exercise sort of implies that if you're not really focused, then you're not turning thoughts to things. And that isn't true at all. Thoughts are turning to things and you're witnessing them. The question is, what are you witnessing? And the answer is, depends on how you feel while you got your focus on it. Yeah. Helpful? That's so helpful. Thank you. And then I want to ask you about, you had mentioned before about source or inner being and sometimes inspires contrast. And is that 
And yes, because sometimes your inner being knows that the most satisfying way to get you to where you really want to be is by causing this question to be stronger and this question to be stronger and this question to be stronger and this question to be stronger. Sometimes you have really big intentions that different experiences cause the question to be stronger and therefore the answer to be even more satisfying. And is that in every case that the contrast is inspired or? No, because you're not always in the receiving mode. Sometimes your contrast is inspired through your disconnection. Perfect. But the point of that is to not get balled up in the contrast mm -hmm. because overall contrast is a really good thing. Without it, there would be no expansion mm -hmm. and without it, there could be no eternity. And so just across the board, except contrast is a good mm -hmm. thing. The benefits as a clarifying thing. Yeah, that's really good.